know, he really did um, care about what was going on in the world. It was really important, world events. It was really important. Uh, with, uh, for example, in, in, uh, in India, and you had traveled to India, would it be possible that you would now be an adherent to the Hindu faith? We're not saying that you were. Back in yeah. Iran, back in Iran, you know I was looking for God. Back in Iran, after I got shot, yeah. I was looking for God. There was a lot of uh, people, a lot of different people, you know, like believing in different things, even doing strangest things, you know, like magic things. And they were believing. Well, that's how it was in the times of. They were, of they were saying also, they were saying also, there is no God, you know, you are God, and this kind of thing. And I was in a lot of doubts going on. And that's why when I was in the sea, and, uh, I said to you, I was a very strong man. I was an Iranian wrestling, Iranian wrestling champion, and I was too proud, you know. I was holding the branch, and of course, not knowing how to swim, but still I had the branch in my hand, trust in the branch, you know. But the branch, when I get the hit with the bay, I went in the water. And on that time, I had the experience. I had cold God. It was really the point was that I'm really glad that makes one of you are blaming the country and you also say that you have to go out if it's free, okay? Iran, Islam, Okay, but if you come back to the country, what's happened to you, what's happened, is not because of that. If you get out of it, you can beat them. But should you beat it to you? What's the question of the law? Just let me tell you, you have to shift them. Yeah. It's completely different. Yeah. And the same one. If because I'm asking you, I'm asking you, put your feet on this end. One time, one time. Okay. I'm not correcting anything. I'm not correcting. I said there is one true God. There is one true God. There is, one true God. There is, one true God. There is a lot of false God. This is it. I didn't say anything else. And but how? Uh, it's the same God. It's the same God. Okay, I will go, I will go with you. 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 I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not saying that. But what you're going to say to you? Well, he's not. Right. We have our cousins. We're not talking about countries, Arabs, and whatever. You have our cousins. You have our cousins. That is. As you say, I look for Buddhist, as you say, I look for your salvation, so I look for a lot of things. I think that I think though that truth to, to, I can accept your story. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with accepting your story, but truth is subjective. Yeah. 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 Truth, 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 truth is subjective. And one of the reasons why I say that is that I can accept your I can accept your story to base it. And you know what you believe. And as I said, that, you know, I'm a religious libertarian, if you like, meaning you can believe whatever you wish to believe. And you believe that, but it's subjective, it's not general. I understand the overwhelming desire. If you've taken on that religious belief and you feel that it's done great things for you, then obviously you want to go out and proselytize and, and, and get it to other people. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that when you stray onto perhaps dubious ground, is when we're now saying this is verbal. Verb is definitive. You understand? Meaning that it accepts and it accepts no challenge. You understand my point? So I think that if you get to that particular point of view, I think then what becomes dangerous is that others, others then take that point of view also. And so you can then have the Muslims with extreme views. There's also been Muslims with extreme views. 
they're essentially taking over and believing what you believe, but they've just taken it to an extreme point. Meaning then that they believe that the God that they believe in is the God. God. That's also definitive, meaning that it accepts no challenge. When it accepts no challenge, arrogance and pride comes into, in, 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 into existence. And it's that arrogance and pride and pride which then causes murder and causes dissent and causes violence. This is the reason why, this is the reason why if I was in one position and I'm not, I never am, you understand me that in the presence of the sense, I would say that I have, I would have that belief. And I believe that that belief is good, is good for me. And that way, you can then, you can then protect yourself. Okay? Just find a simple statement from those who would wish you harm. Because one of the things that got to me earlier is when you describe what you were going through, the other Muslim chap still said that they would kill you. Yeah, they would kill you. Look, there is, there is one thing I believe. You yeah. point, right? There is one thing I believe, yeah? I came to this world, and I'm going to go one day. I've got a lot of things already I got here. And I survived. Because God wanted me to be here. Yeah? I love Jesus because He says and He did whatever He said. I love Jesus because He had the power to heal, to raise the dead man. Obviously, He could kill. No, 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 these are allegories that God bringing up now. It's just strange. You're now strange because what you're now doing, you're now quoting and quoting from that particular book which you believe, and you, you have a right to do that. I'm just saying that, and if you and when I when I pray, when I pray for someone, I have to let go. I'm not saying that you I'm not saying that you are when you read the Bible, when you read the Quran, you get into this The Bible is so clear. Which part of the Bible are you talking about? There are many parts of the Bible. We're not talking about any of the Gospels. We're talking about the Second Testament as well. Okay? You read the book, so you have a problem with it. No, 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 it's not about, it's not about convincing, it's about Quran, it's like for me, when I was reading always, jumping from there to there to there to there, and, and, which one? This is just generally, just talking, there is a lot of three, okay, you have to go to the specific. I've been reading for long, yeah? Okay, good. And I know, and I've been reading the meaning of it. I'm not going to say all of it for You said all of it for long. You don't find it. But you know the thing is, you can't, I don't think you can dismiss this question totally. Because what it seems like, I'm not saying that this is what you're doing. Hear me, just one time. What it seems like is that you dismiss the entirety of the Quran. I think that's what it seems like. So if you go to the beginning of the Quran, you know, for example, you can quote certain scriptures and say, well, do you disagree with this? Do you disagree with this? You know, for example, I mean, before you pray, you say, I only believe in the Shaitan. Meaning that you seek refuge from Satan, the accursed devil. Then yeah, this is what you would say first. Do you agree with that? You then say, this my love of man or I You understand? So, what do you believe? Do you not believe that? that what do you believe? That man or when, I was, when I was reading Quran, I was doing all I can't say, read for you now, and you'll be shocked. I'm saying that, you know? what is it, essentially, that you disagreed with, with the Quran? Was it the actions? of the people who say they were Muslim or is it is it, is it, is it the Quran itself? The thing is when I was kid, when I was reading the Quran, all I grew up with uh, quite like the, the meaning in Persian. And I was thinking okay meaning from there to here 
Just like that. Yeah. Jumping and it's always telling me like, oh, you haven't seen that thing that happened to them, that happened to them. God, talk to me nice. Do something nice. I love you. I don't want to be quiet and I'm trying. That was, that was you know, not nice. All the things like all the fish, fish like this in Quran. Like telling you half. Telling you, oh, if you don't do that, you're going to go to any part of that. This could be for example. The same in the Bible. Yeah, the Bible. It's the same. Yes, but the Bible. Yes. Please ask me the same question as me. You tell me what is this? In the Bible, when you read, you need to feel. It's all about forgiveness. It's all about love. I don't see that. You probably say that's actually not true. That's actually not true. For example, if you read through the chapter of Leviticus, if you read through the chapter of Leviticus, 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 Leviticus is the Bible. Also, the Torah. What it contains, it's the first testament. 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 The Torah, basically. That's what I'm saying. Torah. But I don't want to give it to the semantics. Whatever is Torah, isn't it? No, 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 no. First Testament, any first Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the Torah of the Jewish term. You understand? That's the term that they gave to us. But it's the first Testament. It's the first Testament. It's the first Testament. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, now. Yes. I'm saying that, that was the Sharia. That was proper Sharia. Yeah? That book is the real Sharia. That's why it's Sharia. First testament. Testament. I'm saying to you that with that first testament, uh, contained in that testament were laws. I'm saying that if it's a book of complete love and complete forgiveness, you want to then explain to me the whole chapter of Leviticus, which is the which is the Bible, which is the, the law. book of law. Not only is it the book of law, it then gives you the punishment for the discretion within that book. Your argument then may be, your argument may well be then that because of the second testament, you're saying that it negates the first testament. I would then ask this, no, 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 this is what some Christians say. I would then say, well, why, why write the second testament? Well, why write the first testament if that was the case? It must have been written for a particular reason. That was a very good reason to write all of that. Because people have to know what can load us to you. You know, if we are living under the law, you're not going to be surviving because we all make mistakes. That was all about when Jesus came, he gave you Sharia just to see how, how dirty you are. Just to show your, just to show your just to how dirty you are. You know? That's why in the New Testament, in the Second Testament, Testament, Jesus said, they said, go to adultery. You, you will uh, you will die for that. Yeah. Have but you now I'm saying I'm saying don't look at other people with that mind. You know, if you come, if you're looking in a bad way to that person, you are already committing adultery. And Jesus is coming to teach us spiritually. Don't do it from your heart. Not don't do it because of the law. Yeah. Don't do it because of your heart. Because. Your heart is God's place. You are God's place. You are God's temple. That's why you don't do. Not because of the law. And the, the Old Testament is still there, as old as it's been. You know, we have to. That is the stronger way of the law of God. So the, just so, so say, the first testament. You have to wait, 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 Excuse me, sir. Don't just please. come in. We're speaking. Me, don't, be space. Don't, be do don't be rude. Don't be rude. It's a public yeah, space. Don't be rude. Yeah, what I'm on. suggesting is. What I'm suggesting. No, but the problem. I don't like that. I don't like that. This is. Yeah. I want to. I want to. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Public space. Have some manners. Have some manners. Okay. Have some manners. Listen, please. Have some manners. Don't be confused by my language, you'll be lying down. Right. So behave yourself. Right. 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 Behave your right. ass self. So my friend, please. Just behave yourself. I'm listening. Yourself. I'm listening. I was going to make my point to you. Yeah, this is my point. Is that the way? No, no. What's wrong with you? Ralph, Ralph, please. Come down. Ralph, please. What's wrong with you? I don't like that. Ralph. What I'm telling you is fucking arrogance. Ralph, chill, chill. Hate people like that. We're having a conversation and you can get rid of someone's butt. I don't know who it is. No, no, no.
I'm agree with him because yeah, if we are talking, just and this is what I'm saying to you about the arrogance of these people. They don't believe they should have any respect. Yeah, they don't believe they should have any respect. And this is a historical thing. This is a historical thing with these people. You understand? Anytime they see us, they can just come in amongst us and say what they wish to say, and we've got to accept it. You understand? This is 2016. This is not 1816. Yeah. Yes, but that's the language. Listen, yes. Yeah, but the point the point the point I was making yeah, is a is a is a is a fairly simple one. Is that when you speak to Christians, the Christians will say to you that the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus has negated the first testament or the old testament and now we're on the we're on the, the we're on the new law because Jesus has already shed his blood. I can't accept that. Because if I were to accept that, that would mean that do we then punish people now for murder? I'm just asking you, because Jesus has already shed his blood. Do, do Jesus said, take your cross and follow me. It doesn't mean, he said, take your cross and follow me. Mm. It means, Jesus said, if you take the sword, if you kill someone with the other side, you're going to die with the other side. Mm. Yeah? Jesus always said, don't do anything like that. It's sin. It's like, we can't expect to live in this sin and to go to God. It's wrong. If, no, just, if, that's not what I'm saying. That's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that a book, a book was written prior, prior to the Bible being here 2,000 years ago. What law were we living under? Oh, okay. Prior to prior to 2,000 years ago. The law now. I'm asking you, prior to 2,000 years ago, before Jesus Christ, what were we living under? The law of Sharia. Before Jesus? Well, no, 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 no. I said to you, before, before the Bible, before both the first and New Testament, okay. what were we living under? The law of was done. Your, um, so, um, your sense, God gives sense to all of us, okay? And that is, we all want to be judged with that thing if we have a prayer. I don't know. Uh, Finish your question. Yeah. The last question I'll ask is this. How long in our present incarnation, incarnation have we been on this planet? We as a human? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. According to what you believe, according to your scriptures. There is no date on the scripture. There is no date on the scripture. If you speak to, if you speak to a lot of Christians, they will say to you 6,000 years. There is no, 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 no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't there matter. There is no okay. date Let's say that. on, you know, as a Christian I say, I can't, uh, we can't say 6,000 or anything like that because there can be a lot of time in the, in the let, middle. Let, let, me, let, let me make change. another point. Then. It's even worse. And I'll tell you the reason why. Whilst you don't know how long we've been here. Well, do you know how long we've been here? No, no. I'm going to explain it to you right now. Once you say we don't know how long we've been here, I accept that point. Here's what's difficult to accept. That the loving God that you describe was helped to a person near except But I look at the rest of the world, and I look at what this world has gone through, say the last 6,000 years, in terms of rape, in terms of murder, in terms of negative slavery, paedophilia, torture, paedophilia, every kind of wickedness imaginable. And we were created by this God, who you will say is not capricious, but is not capricious, is not malicious, doesn't have any ill intent. But supposedly, he has created this particular world. And we've been here for a period of time. That God didn't think, didn't consider that he would allegedly send a saviour into this particular world until roughly 2,000 years ago. Prior to that, we know
know that in the Middle Eastern region, in the Middle East region, they had many different gods. Hundreds of different gods. I know. 333 different gods. This is what they had. actually. How much was it? For, uh, for each day, in Kaaba, they had one god. I apologize. It's even more than what I've said. But uh, this, that's what I read. Can I just say for each day? I'm going to read it again. Make sure that I'm speaking. I should be speaking. The point I'm making is this. We know that if you look at the Greeks, the Greeks would also have their gods. Turkey would have their gods. In North Africa, nobody wants to listen. They're only African gods, so they don't really count. But they don't because nobody takes black people seriously. Black people are the joke. They say, this is why people have no respect for us. The only way in which we can get them to respect us, they understand, is to fight back against them. But generally speaking, they don't respect us. This is why wherever you go in the world today, black people, black people are at the bottom of the class. That's not the point. In Japan, they had their many gods. In China, they had hundreds. The point I'm making is, is that the God that you speak about, the God where we call 316, the God so loved the world that he gave his only God, he got the Son, and he said, I'm not going to have everlasting life. That's right, wonderful thing. God, we thank you. But we were here. What we know are thousands of years before. And this was a place of, this was a veritable hell. And yet, there was no God, the God that you speak about. There was no Jesus that you speak about. I'm saying to you, if there was a plan, there would have to have been a plan of. It makes sense. If there was a design, it would have to be a designer. What do you think? It's a bit unfair because I'm asking you to get into the mind of God, which is completely unfair. But let's just play the game for a moment. What do you think would have been the plan for you to create a particular human people that would bring virtual hell to this world and only, in terms of history, say like a half a second ago, you then created something to allegedly bring peace to this world and for us to love your son and to believe in you as God. Where were you before? That's a legitimate question. Say the last part again. I'm saying that as a God, with all that the world has been through, all that we have done throughout the history, you have literally, in terms of, in terms of time, literally just a half second ago, decided to introduce your son into this world. According to the scripture, the days is a thousand years. So it was literally then, if we take that literally, two days ago, you introduced your son, and you introduced new scriptures into this world. I'm saying to you, what? If that's what you believe, that's fine, I don't have a problem with that. like why Father sent Jesus No, no, that's not what I'm speaking about. I'm saying to you that what type of God, if you were to believe the religious scriptures, would send the prophet, yeah, in order to get you to believe in him, who is the originator, allegedly, of the heavens and earth. And you send him right at the last minute in the existence of the planet Earth, and you weren't extensively, you were not here before. The Muslims are even worse than the Christians because the Muslims can say, the Christians can say, well, we did this 2,000 years ago. The Muslims say, we did this 1,400 years ago. And so the same question would then apply to them. Where was that God? Where were those prophets? Where was that concern for what he allegedly created? I'm just asking. Okay. You mean why? Who? Who's enjoying to watch? Probably. <laughs> to create the planet. Earth, you mean. No. Where was he? I'm not, I don't really understand. I'm saying to you. I'm saying to you that. How can I put it? 
directly. The God that you say yeah. is magnificent and has saved you. I say, I can accept that if that's what you tell me. Because that belief is innate. It's your, it's your innate belief. It's intrinsic, but it's intrinsic to you. Yeah, but it's a subjective belief. I'm saying with that subjective belief, explain to me how it is that God only just decided only just decided 2,000 years ago to give you a scripture called the Bible when we have gone through millennia, without a book. millennia of terror without him. That's all I'm asking. You. The thing is from the beginning, when everything goes, it went wrong. As you believe. You said you don't know what the beginning is, because you don't know how long we've been here. Doesn't matter, but there was a beginning. Okay. Okay. There was a creation of the human. There was a cremation of human in some point, hmm. 200 years, 200,000 years, or 100,000, or 10,000, or 6,000, whatever, hmm. yeah? There was a point of beginning of us. And as Islam believes, uh, if Abde had the wheat, flower, like that, but uh, in Christianity they say apple, the tree of knowledge. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't touch that. That's why everything changed. Doesn't matter, it's going to be apple or it's going to be something. There was action, you know, and uh, just accepting the other thought, what it says, which is Satan. Accept it. You broke what you had between you and God, you know. When we have a deal together and when you talk to him, that's it. You, you broke the deal with me. You Now you find out who you are, you know. you and uh, you are hiding yourself because you just know who you are and then I understand that, but let me then say to you then. and then sorry if you look at first testament as you say or whatever that book a lot of places you see god is talking about sending someone who's going to save because of but that was only 2000 years ago no, 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 no. He sent it 2,000 years ago. But before that, he was talking about it. I, I can show you a lot of places in Bible. Isaiah, in Isaiah, in Isaiah, in Isaiah. Isaiah, I can show you. God is talking clearly about someone is going to come, is going to die on the cross, and is going to raise again. The last one that he said is just, what you can't believe or not, is Muhammad. And he is right because it's, we are talking about 1,400 years. What you, can yeah. I just say to you, what you can't do, the last time what you can't do is read a book and retrospectively say that the book was speaking about that time, that particular time. That book came about on a particular day. Those, those scriptures were written on a particular day. One thing that we're clear of, they were not written on the day that allegedly Adam and Eve were on this planet. No, 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 so no. Them, they were written by Moses. Hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Hold on. Even if it was narrated by Moses, do you understand? The point that I'm making is that book was written 2,000 years afterwards. ago. Afterwards. As a guide, it was written afterwards. And so what could have been done is that what you have is the subjective opinion of those particular writers at that particular time. My question still remains valid, and it's this. I ask you again. If the world happened at a particular point, but let me say it in a, in a different way. Just recently, okay, that's okay, that's how you understand. Just recently, just recently, I bought a new car. And I bought the Mercedes G. Yeah, it, has, it has a lot of gadgets on it. I didn't understand. I had yeah. David yeah, my car is gone. Well, I hope that's not a portrait of uh, uh, come for me in, in, in future. But what I would say is, is that there are lots of different gadgets on the car that I've still discovered. So what I did, I went across into the glove box, and I sat down on the side of the road, and I took out and I looked at the instruction. Because the instruction could show me clearly how to get the best out of the car that I just bought. And this is just a simple car. Subjectively, you know how to drive. How much more, very true, very actually. How much more important is the human being on a planet, an incredible planet, but 
24,896 miles in circumference. It will take a thousand and thirty-seven one-third miles an hour. The sun is 93.2 million miles away, it hits the Earth and gives life to the planet that we're on. How much more magnificent is the Earth that we're on, where I can have a problem with a car and seek a manual, but the creator of this absolute magnificence only wants to write the manual to this Earth 2,000 years ago. Wow, that's, that's the problem. And very abstractly. God, God <laughs> very abstractly. God created us to walk, to talk to him like this. God created us. I, that I, I give you, I give you, I, I give you the manual, that's though. Why? When? That's why. why when? We have the book many years ago. That's why. I, I, have an answer. That's I, why. I give the manual. Okay. I have an answer. I'd like to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Life, life why, is the manual. Why did we have the book many, many years ago? The Dundas, Dundas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My son was with me till he just come back. The life is the book. Life is the book. Life is the manual. Sorry, you know what? Well, I say life is the manual. Life is the book. I have an answer. Life, life, life is the book. You know, you know, a spider. A spider spins a web. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. A spider spins a web. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. The spider has a baby spider. You wanna, you, you wanna hear my answer? That's the yeah. baby yeah. spider. Yeah. That's the baby spider have to go to spider school to learn how to spin the web. Nature. Uh, if we need a book to learn how to live. No, no, it was, hold no, on, it was hold no on. book. Hold on. It so, was no book. So, 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 so when, why? When so, job? When job? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Job. So why do we need a book right. to live today? Don't, you tell yeah, me. Can I just say to you? Can I just say very quickly? Yeah. Jesus' on. life. Jesus' life is everything. No, but I'm talking I about. I, I just say to you. I just say to you. I'm not saying Jesus. I'm saying you. I said to you. I didn't read Bible. Do you remember? No, I didn't believe you. You did. Yeah, you believe you believe. I swear to Can God. Can I just say to you? I did not read. All the thing I saw. All the thing was vision. All the thing was happening to me. And I just accepted it. I give you that. I give you. You did say. I remember that. What this, what this brother just said. I didn't read. Hold on, but hold on, hold on. What this brother just said is the best question in Hyde Park today, and I'm going to explain what he said in no time whatsoever. He said, if you had a spider and you had a baby spider, would you need to send that baby spider to spider school to learn how to draw the web? The answer is no. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Just give me a second. I'm going to tell you the reason why. One minute, one minute, one minute. I've yeah, seen this program. No, 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 no. One minute, one moment, one moment. One moment. One moment. One moment. One moment. Just one point. Let me tell you why it's a great question. And I'm going to tell you what the answer is. We are sentient beings. We'll all agree with that. And we are programmed as sentient beings to act in accordance with what our nature is. So, you don't need to get a book, whether it's ostensibly from the Hindus, the Jews, the Christians, or the Muslims, to tell us what the law is. We know intrinsically, as human beings, that to murder, yeah, to murder another human being goes against our programming. We know if we have a right, and that wife comes in and says something we don't like. We know that it's not right to hit that wife in the face. You don't have to go to a counsellor or the police you know. for you to know that. You will know intrinsically that that is not what you're meant to do. We don't fly, at least not physically. But if you see a bird, a bird has a particular program where it flies, where it goes into a tree and where it eats a worm. A human may go, oh, that's disgusting. That bird may well look at you and say, oh my God, you eat McDonald's. Do you want to say what to It's our programming. It's our programming as human beings. Now, what has happened is that some of our programming has gone awry. And because our programming has gone awry, it's why we need a law. 
for those small, small minority, people say, but it's not a small minority of people who will murder, who will kill, who will be pedophiles, who will be rapists, and it's that law that should be brought in to keep those types of people in check. But in order to find the majesty of the human mind, and to look at the majesty of what the human mind can do, reading the Quran does not make you build the shard in the city of London. Reading the Bible does not make you construct a concord, you understand, in a factory. It doesn't. Reading the, reading the Torah, you know, does not make you construct a bifocal pair of glasses for someone who can barely see, such as myself. These things are innate in the human being, where you can look at the ground. All of this was once earth, and it was the majesty of the human mind that caused us to be able to take from the earth and construct what you see today. However, there is a flip side of this, because that programming that we have we also have an alternate or a degenerative part of our programming that causes us to act in a way contrary to the well-being of other sentient beings like ourselves. It is at that point where religion has come into the breach yeah, and have sought to construct a false paradise. And not only to control that false paradigm, but to enrich themselves whilst doing so. Because in all of us, in all of us as human beings, we all cry out for the unknown, to know what's going to happen next. And because of our pride and our ego, we've decided that the world really is us. And the world isn't us. The world is actually all of us. But the way in which the world has been constructed, now, that is not what we believe. The God that they have created is not, is a false God. I'm going to say it for what it is. All of them, all of, them. Yeah, all of the gods that they've created are false gods. And that's the reason why it doesn't matter whether you look at the Christian, whether it's, whether it's Seventh-day Adventists, Jehovah Witness, Presbyterians, Mormons, Catholics. It doesn't matter what. There is dissension amongst them all because none of them have that God. They will argue, the only way in which all the religions will argue is if they come against somebody like me, who believes in none of them. You understand? That's what will draw them together. And once they get rid of me, yeah, they will start an intermediate struggle back amongst themselves. But I know that we are tribes on this planet. Not racist. White people, by their actions, by their actions, have been incredibly racist. But even that racism is just tribalism to its extreme, whereby you seek to look out for your tribe. We're all tribalists by nature. If I go out, I'll go out with my black mates. It doesn't mean I don't have white mates. Of course I've got white mates. But like, we're tribal by nature. But there's a false narrative that's been given into this world, where we should all just be this one big wonderful collage, eat together, go together. That's not how the world is. Do you understand? It doesn't mean that you're racist, because you don't have white people or Indian people with you. It just means that we're tribal by our very nature. But something has come into the breach of who we are as human beings. And what's come into that breach and what's flipped us all is this is this false construct that they've given us of religion which has created what? Let's be honest about what it's created. There are two different types of religion that I speak about in this world. There is the formal, what I call the formal religion of the Christians, the Hindus, the Muslims, and so on so forth. That's one. And then you have what I call the atheistic religions, who also believe that they have a moral superiority as regards everybody else. And so with the religious, with the religious believer in God, he believes, he believes, he believes as a religious believer that his faith makes him right from a superior, from a superior position. And so whatever he does, he knows that his God, that he has constructed in his own mind, will forgive him. Well, why wouldn't he? You're the one that created him. The atheistic terrorists that exist in this world, amongst the people like George Bush, the people like, like uh, Clinton, you know, you now have the, 
female antichrist in our midst, which is Hillary Clinton, that said, these people have created havoc throughout the world. They've created this havoc, but they also believe in their superiority. It's an atheistic superiority. What they don't understand is that they are the opposite side of the coin of the religious extremism that they condemn. They are both the same. And that's the reason why one side can create war and say that the God of righteousness is on their side and the other side can create war ostensibly to destroy these people and say that right is on their side. They don't understand that they're both murderers. They're both killers. They're both puffed up with ego. They're both puffed up with pride. These are people that we should have nothing whatsoever to do with. They want to have their belief system. Go and have it in a corner. But the nature of humans, as far as I'm concerned, with what I've seen, with all the empirical, with all the anecdotal evidence I've seen, is that human beings can live well with each other when they conform to their programming. It's when they go against their programming and then they bring in things like greed. They now say that we're all ostensibly greedy. Excuse me? Who said that? I don't believe that to be true at all. You know, if, we, if we're walking along the street and you've got a hundred pounds in your pocket and you see a person who needs a pound to get someone something to eat, the great majority of people will give that pound. But I'm saying that until we let go, until we let go of these false paradigms, these false beliefs, yeah, these false beliefs, yeah, this false direction will be in the same position that we are now in, and unfortunately, we'll be in that position ad infinitum. The thing is, you said very nice things, but Jesus didn't bring religion. You know, if religion came to bring all those laws and we have to follow those things and we have to, it makes us separate with other people. It separate with Who gave those laws? Who gave the laws of Leviticus? God. God. And he gave it through who? Moses. Does God make mistakes? God never makes mistakes. So would you describe the chapter of Leviticus as mistake-ridden, as mistake-ridden, or not mistake-ridden? There is nothing mistake there. But there Stop a second. If it's not a mistake, who are you then to decide that you're not going to follow that particular edit from you say God? That's why I say those are the loans just to show us who we are, you know, how big we are in, in front of uh, loans, you know, because people were asking for it, you know, and that's why Jesus came to, he took the religion in a way off, because he connected you, your heart, to God's heart. You're confusing Islam and Christianity, and I'm going to, I'm going to prove it to you. Uh, Islam and Christianity. No, I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove it to you. You just said, Jesus. You just said, hold on, I said I'm going to prove it to you. You just said that the people are history. That particular, the, 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 just to come to the gospel, you know, is an Islamic one. When during that time, pre, the pre Muhammadan women, they were taking girls, they were burying them up to their necks, you understand, and leaving them there to die. You understand? It was, it was, it was that. That was one of the reasons. Yeah, but the Arabs were good people on that time also. They had as well. They were good people also. Arabs? Yeah. yeah. They were bad people, all of them? Nobody could be completely bad. They were, That's not what they I'm saying. Yeah, they were Job, Job, the Bible, he had some of those friends from that area. You know, some of his, and they were nice people. He was, there was no religion between them. Stuck. If you read the job, Stuck. are you? He had all different friends from different I, 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 would, I, I would just leave it as, yeah. I'm glad your faith done well for you, man. I got you out the, the sea and got you here. You're healthy and strong. More power to you. You know, it keeps you like that, but you know where it's going. Do you know one of the things that...